Um, hello, my name is Dr. Dmitry Tsvetov, and I would like to welcome you to Temenkula Facial Oral Surgery. Uh, today we're going to talk about impacted wisdom teeth and the reasons why they may present long-term problems. Um, the first thing we're going to discuss is what does an impacted wisdom tooth mean? In other words, what constitutes an impacted wisdom tooth? Um, an impacted wisdom tooth is a tooth that remains stuck uh, inside the jawbone for one of two reasons. Either there is physically not enough space in the jawbone to allow the tooth to come into the mouth normally, or there are other teeth in the way that are blocking the e eruption or the coming out of the tooth into the mouth. Um, before we understand why that is a problem, uh, we need to discuss exactly how the teeth develop. So when we look at the picture over here, it's going to show us that, um, w that the wisdom teeth or, or any teeth actually develop within a sac of tissue with, which we call follicular sac. It's basically a very metabolically active tissue that um, is responsible for the, de for the development of the tooth. And as the tooth erupts or comes into the mouth, the sac of the tissue disintegrates. It comes apart, which is a normal process. In situations like these, where the follicular sac does not disintegrate and remains buried inside the bone tissue and inside the gum tissue, we can have a situation where unfavorable pathological processes can begin to develop within the follicular tissue itself. Now, what are these unfavorable pathological processes? Well, they can be one of a number of uh, many um, things. It can range from being a benign cyst, which is easily removed along with a tooth, to a more locally aggressive type of a cyst, which not only requires removal, but also removal of the small percentage of uh, bony tissue around it. Or worst case scenario, it can actually represent a locally aggressive tumor that actually requires in block re resection or complete removal of a whole part of the jaw. Let's look at a few x-rays which are going to help us better understand this uh, process. The first x-ray we are going to look at is a completely normal x-ray. We see developing wisdom teeth on the bottom jaw, this one on the right side, and this one on the left. Uh, what we're looking at is this very thin, uniform, gray uh, rim of follicular tissue surrounding a wisdom tooth. This is completely normal, nice and uniform around the whole tooth. When we look at this x-ray, we can, we, we can actually see uh, that the situation is a little bit different. Mainly, this impacted wisdom tooth has in association with it this very large cystic lesion that is eating away the bony structure of the lower jaw. Uh, the bone, which is usually white on the, on the x-ray, is completely absent within this lesion, which is usually the case, which means that the lesion has resorbed or pushed away the bone. Now, just by looking at it, there is no way of knowing exactly what we're dealing with here. Again, this can be either a very benign cyst or potentially a locally aggressive one or the worst case scenario, a tumor. So in order to establish the diagnosis, we need to biopsy it. But regardless, this is a very uh, dangerous situation because the more the cyst or the tumor resorbs the jaw, the more likely it is that the jaw is going to break all by itself, even by eating the softer foods. Um, the next picture we're going to look at is a similar example where you have an impacted wisdom tooth and again it's surrounded by this very large area of resorbed bone which again can represent either a cyst or a tumor and, and again this is a very dangerous situation because as you can see it's basically just a very thin shell of the bone remaining uh, before this jaw breaks. Let's look at a few more examples. Here we have a picture of an impacted wisdom tooth, which is again surrounded by a, uh, by a follicular tissue, which has expanded tremendously. And not only that, it is also causing um, decay or resorption on the roots of the second molar. So in this 
particular case, probably there is going to be no way to save this particular tooth. And uh, just one more example where you have an impacted tooth, which is almost completely erupted, but still it is surrounded by this large area of, re of um, the cystic lesion with a very um, thin border of the bone in between. So again, just to reiterate, why does this present a problem? Well, if you have a huge lesion surrounding an impacted wisdom tooth, this lesion can eat away at the underlying bone. It can weaken the, the, the bone structure, leading therefore to potential breaking of the jaw or the damage to other teeth, all of which are uh, very unfortunate uh, situations. In order to treat this particular condition, again, it can range from a simple operation where you just sc scoop out the cystic lesion all the way to potentially having to resect or to cut out a whole portion of the jawbone because if this is a tumor, you have to remove it with a certain kind of margins to, assure, to ensure that it doesn't recur. Mm -hmm. So you can be dealing with a situation like this where um, it's, it starts out um, with, a, with, a, with, a, with, with the dark lesion around an impacted tooth and when this was biopsy it came back as amyloblastoma or a very um, or a, a very aggressive uh, type of the tumor which necessitated us actually removing a whole portion of the jawbone and then having to later reconstruct the patient utilizing the bone from his leg. Needless to say, an operation like this is very debilitating. It requires a prolonged stay in the hospital, a lot of post-operative rehabilitation, and it's an unfortunate situation because it could have been avoided had um, uh, this situation been, been monitored long-term to ensure that there are no problems associated with that impacted premolar tooth. So the bottom line is if you think you might have an impacted wisdom tooth or you know you have one, um, please give us a call, stop by for a free, free consultation. We will be more than happy to see you in our office. We can look and see if there's anything that needs to be done about your impacted um, wisdom tooth. Um, remember, if your tooth is uh, pain or the symptom free, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's pathology free. All of the, the all of the patients that I uh, was showing to you, they didn't have any pain symptoms, no discomfort symptoms, and yet they had these huge lesions brewing inside their jaws. So again, please give us a call, come in for a free consultation. We will be very glad to see you, um, and we're looking forward to helping you uh, should you ever need our help. Thank you so much for your attention, and uh, Please stay tuned for more editions of the Tenacula Facial Oral Surgery video blog. Um, thank you.